exercise and weight loss. Carrying around too much weight feels uncomfortable, and it can also damage your health. Obesity can lead to a number of serious health problems, including heart disease, diabetes, stroke, and some types of cancer. One method that can help a person lose weight is to limit the number of calories taken in through their diet. The other way is to burn extra calories with exercise. Benefits of Exercise versus Diet Combining exercise with a healthy diet is a more effective way to lose weight than depending on calorie restriction alone. Exercise can prevent or even reverse the effects of certain diseases. Exercise lowers blood pressure and cholesterol, which may prevent a heart attack. In addition, if you exercise, you lower your risk of developing certain types of cancers such as colon and breast cancer. Exercise is also known to help contribute to a sense of confidence and well-being, thus possibly lowering rates of anxiety and depression. Exercise is helpful for weight loss and maintaining weight loss. Exercise can increase metabolism, or how many calories you burn in a day. It can also help you maintain and increase lean body mass, which also helps increase number of calories you burn each day. How much exercise is needed for weight loss? To reap the health benefits of exercise, it is recommended that you to perform some form of aerobic exercise at least three times a week for a minimum of 20 minutes per session. However, more than 20 minutes is better if you want to actually lose weight. Incorporating just 15 minutes of moderate exercise, such as walking one mile, on a daily basis will burn up to 100 extra calories, assuming you don't consume excess calories in your diet afterwards. Burning 700 calories a week can equals 10 pounds of weight loss over the course of a year. What are some examples of the different types of exercise? The type of exercise you choose for weight loss doesn't matter as much as whether or not you're doing it. That's why experts recommend you pick exercises you enjoy, so that you'll stick to a regular routine. Aerobic No matter what exercise program you implement, it should include some form of aerobic or cardiovascular exercise. Aerobic exercises get your heart rate up and your blood pumping. Aerobic exercises may include walking, jogging, cycling, swimming, and dancing. You can also work out on a fitness machine such as a treadmill, elliptical, or stair stepper. Weight Training A big advantage of working out with weights is that, in addition to shedding fat, you'll build muscle. Muscle, in turn, burns calories. Talk about a healthy feedback loop. Experts recommend working all the major muscle groups three times per week. This includes Abs Back Biceps calves, chest, forearms, hamstrings, quads, shoulders traps triceps yoga yoga is not as intense as other types of exercise, but it can help you lose weight in other ways, according to a recent study by researchers at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. The study found that people who practice yoga are more mindful about what they eat and, therefore, less likely to have obesity. Incorporating exercise into your lifestyle The total amount of exercise you engage in during a day matters more than whether or not you do it in a single session. That's why small changes in your daily routine can make a big difference in your waistline. Healthy lifestyle habits to consider include, walking or riding your bike to work or while running errands taking the stairs instead of the elevator parking farther away from destinations and walking the remaining distance.